Long have I waited for this day. I know you can't have forgotten my face. Do not pretend otherwise. Iaman was the name of the courtier you murdered in Suriga. That man was my father. You don't mean. You're that girl from before. I'm not that girl anymore. I am a vagrant on a quest for vengeance. Do you know how many times I've awoken in the night, having dreamt of drawing this dagger? Today, finally, my blade will have its due! Quiet! Men, have your way with her! You actually believe I would ever let myself be cut down by a mere woman? I will teach you your place. For I am none other than the fearsome Ginji the Slasher, the legendary terror of Edo! You fool of a man. Genji the Slasher is none other than I. Did you see that? Father. Masumi! Did you finish cutting that confetti? No. Not yet. Then what are you sitting around for? We leave for Osaka in the morning. <laughs> Look at you. You got the audience to its feet and suddenly you think you're a star? This kind of money is nothing, so don't let it go to your head! You ungrateful little brat! Don't you look at me like that. I can't believe this is how you treat your mother. <laughs> Make the next cut even deeper. And this time, not even your makeup will hide it. Yoko! Stop it! <laughs> Don't you dare try to order me around, Toshio. Who do you think keeps this whole damn show running? <sighs> Tora chan! Shall we go to Motomachi tonight? Hmm? Are you sure? <laughs> Who cares about all this? Okay, Masumi. Don't worry, confetti. Let me give you a hand. 
I should have time to finish it in the truck tomorrow. I may never be an award-winning actor, but he's been a masterful confetti cutter. Every actor needs a backup plan. <laughs> what do you say we hit the town tonight? See the sights of Yokohama. Just the two of us. Come on. Okay. So, Masami, did you say goodbye to all your friends in Yokohama? I don't have any friends. What's the point if you switch schools every month? Come on, don't be like that. You know, when I was your age, my parents wouldn't even let me go to school. Hey, why don't we treat ourselves today? I know, how about Peking Duck? The king of Chinese food. Ah, the duck is dried in the sun, then roasted, and the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. If it's the king of Chinese food, it must be expensive. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. Indulging ourselves for one night won't break the bank. Whoa, Masumi. You're going to get full if you keep eating those, you know. Remember, these appetizers are just the bit players. The main course has yet to take the stage. Yeah, I know. I'm going to the bathroom before the star gets here. Dad? Dad? Here we are, the last day of the 20th century. And all I can think about is what I want for lunch. Hey, Ichi. I sent Ichi out to do collections. On New Year's Eve? If there's money on the streets and there's work to be done, Yakuza don't get holidays in Kamarocho. Life's a bitch, then you die. Stop, Mushio, you piece of shit! What? And get caught? Get fucked, you cum stain! Leave me alone! Where are you going? Take a fucking hint!
Looks like I shook him off. Ushio, pal. I know you're not an idiot. Why did you think you'd get away with hawking this? There's nothing illegal about selling animal fuck videos. Believe me, it's educational. Oh, I believe you. The problem is you were calling it uncensored porn and selling it to dumb, horny kids. Come on, Ichiban, do me a solid. Remember all the good times we had in middle school? And let's be real. It's not like this is hurting the Yakuza's bottom line. Actually, it is. Big time. Kids these days are entitled, man. They'll come bitching the Arakawa family about porn scammers on our turf. We can't have that kind of shit staining our good name. So come on. Cough up the cash you squeeze out of them. Get who you're dealing with? Of course not. Just some Yakuza street trash who's gotta learn when to quit! You picked the wrong fight. Choices, choices. Yes! Yeah. Pissing your pants yet? Come on now! <laughs> Ichiban Aniki! You okay? Oh, hell yeah. Check this out, man. Whoa, payday! That guy was pretty fucking loaded. Yeah, he was always coming up with crazy business schemes back in the day. Well, some of them must have worked. The cash you got there might hit our quota today all by itself. What are you talking about? We're gonna give this all back to those kids. Uh, after all the work we did to get it, man? Yeah, dude. Hold up. You want me to track down every single kid this guy shafted? For real? Yes, for real. What part of this is hard to understand? <laughs> <sighs> Nothing. I get it. Yeah, hey, look at this real quick. How bad is it? Fucker got me with his brass knuckles. Yeah, you've got a good sized lump there, dude. No, you idiot! I mean my hair! I just got it done! And it was looking real fresh, too. I can't believe this shit, stupid Ushio. Well, let me see if I can fix it. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. You just gotta, you know. Don't touch it! I pay good money for this shit! Damn, I choked. I took a bunch of hits to the face. <laughs> You're always getting pummeled there. I think you like it. Are you calling me a masochist? <laughs> Hell yeah. You always let him get some in, even when you could wipe the floor with him. I know how you fight hard when you wanna. Yes, I do let him do that. Pretty masochist, if you ask me. Unless you're training to become a pro wrestler or something. Okay, fine. I guess I can see how it comes across that way. That ain't it. I'm just doing, you know, what a hero would do. A hero? Sure. I pretend I'm a hero when I fight. So when it's time to throw down, my brain just starts thinking in Dragon Quest terms. Ugh, again with the Dragon Quest? What's so great about it? Everything. It's an epic and dangerous journey, and that's exactly how I see real life. <sighs> you do know you're a freaking Yakuza, right? If even one guy gets a lucky hit and it's all over for you. You realize that, dude? How many times has Captain Sawashiro told you that? I kill a guy over something as stupid as collections, that's when it's all over. Look, 
I like this life with our colleagues, the captain, and even your dumbass. I'm not gonna do anything to ruin that. The truth is, I never want to be at rock bottom again. Again? So, rock bottom when you were cooped up in that Soapland office playing non-stop Dragon Quest? <laughs> Wouldn't be the man I am today without it. A cool guy, full of the bravery those games showed me, and what they did, Arakawa-san did. That's where you get all this hero crap, huh? <laughs> Maybe I should give this gamer shit a chance. To it, man. But first, let's give that money back to the kids who got scammed. Oh, <laughs> right. Well, time to give those kids some refunds. Thanks. Hit me up at the SIG shop when you're done. Sure. Hey, Ichi! Old man Takeo, how the heck are you? Good, good. Hey, did you know Mama Michio is looking for you? She wanted you to swing by. What's she need with me? No clue. I'm just the messenger. <sighs> What's she gotten herself into now? Duty calls. Kept me waiting. Have a drink with me, will ya? It's New Year's Eve. Wait, please don't tell me you were just looking for a drinking buddy. What? You were the only guy I knew who wouldn't have anywhere else to be on New Year's. Yes, I'm out here busting my ass making collections. Oh, well, look at you. So big and important. At least I'm not drunk. I've been drinking since before you were a twinkle in your dad's eye. And look at me now. Still gorgeous. Keep telling it. Probably ain't so gorgeous. But keep it up, and your only drink's gonna be when they wash your grave. <sighs> I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> I do appreciate it. like that. Michio was just drunk off her ass. You're surprised? I haven't seen her sober in 20 years. Her and this town are just going to hell. Heck, there's some trouble at Shangri-La right now. Huh? What happened? I don't know the details, but you know how Soaplands are. Yeah, maybe a customer got uppity with one of the girls. You ought to go check. Damn it. Timing. We've got a huge problem. What's wrong? 
The toilet's all clogged up, and we can't find a plunger anywhere. Uh, a plunger? Yeah, that thing you use when there's shit stuck in the pipes. Yeah, I know what it is, but come on! We're Yakuza, not your handyman! Well, excuse me. I suppose it wasn't me who cleaned you up every time you shit yourself. I was a baby! Oh, you had until fifth grade! One time! And my stomach was killing me that day! <laughs> Yo. ありがとうございます。はい。A toilet plunger. Yeah. If you have one, could you run into Shangri-La? Just buy one for them. They raised you for crying out loud. A man your age should be sending money to his family anyway. <sighs> you think I can afford that? I'm barely scraping by as is. Well, then you need to leave that sorry Arakawa family and join a family with some real push, kid. Sure. You'd be their gopher for a while. But that'd still be better than how you're living now, right? You're an idiot. I swore an oath to Arakawa-san, and I never abandoned him. <laughs> Aren't you an obedient little dog? I heard something real cute about you. You're babysitting Arakawa's kid? Ha! Itchy than any! Hey, look, the young master's the same age as me. He's not a Young master? What is this, the 18th century? Besides, I'm not babysitting him. I'm his caretaker. He's been in a wheelchair since he was a toddler, you know? Oh, so he needs a big, strong Yakuza at his side every time he wants some fresh air? <sighs> Arakawa's going soft in his old age. Surprise, surprise. Hey, try saying one more word about Arakawa and see what happens. Hey, Aniki. Yo, did you give those high schoolers their money back? Yup. Never seen kids happier to see a Yakuza before. It all worked out. See, they ain't so bad. Dude, there's no reason to be happy about it. If we don't score big on our next job, the captain's going to kill us. I know that. What is our next job, anyway? It's a shakedown. Our mark borrowed 500k from a loan shark and hasn't paid back a single yen. And apparently, he's immune to Yakuza threats. We thought we'd give it a shot, so we bought the loan. Well, let's go, man. The dignity of the Arakawa family is riding on us. <laughs> I hope that's not true. Hey, by the way, Captain 
Ichiro said to pull out all the stops to get this money back. So we might have to rough him up. All right, so where is this clown now? I hear he hangs out around Public Park 3 a lot. I'll go on ahead and scope it out. Be there, okay? All right. Oh, Haniki. Is our guy here? Sure is. Look over there. That's Hiratsuka. <laughs> that dude, huh? Do you know him? Forget it. Let's go. Hey there, Hiratsuka-san. Enjoying a little p are we? Having a smoke while you mooch your ass still owes a ton of money? Oh, you think we won't beat you to a pulp? That other family went easy on you, but we won't. The Arakawa family doesn't fuck around! If you don't want to get hurt, get out your wallet! Hey! You think I won't do it? I can't pay back what I can't pay back. That's all there is to it. I see you're still just coasting on your size, oh great Hiratsuka. How'd you know that nickname? Who the hell are you? Ah, oh, don't you remember, pal? We used to wrestle when we were kids. You thought it was so cool to power bomb other kids, as long as you were the only one big enough to do it. Oh, I remember. You're Soapy Ichi. And if this guy's your pal, that must mean... <laughs> you ended up in the Yakuza. Shocker. And I heard you joined the JSDF only to flunk out and come crawling back here. Life's a bitch, huh? Yeah, it is. So deal with it somewhere else. No can do, pal. We gotta deal with it right here, cause we're Yakuza. See, Yakuza orders are mandatory, and my orders are to get your wallet. So hand it over. I told you, I don't have any money! Come on, great son. Let's make this easy. All I need is your wallet. I don't want to get rough with you. You understand, right? Huh. <laughs> You saying that even a grown-ass man is scared of my power bombs? No, I'm saying I don't want to see the strongest guy in middle school tap out. It'd be a shame if that was your peak. Huh. <laughs> Sounds like Soapy Ichi needs to take the dirt again. You want it so bad? Try and take it! Here we go! Tag match, Aniki! Not this time. You be the referee. I want him all to myself. Huh? Quit jabbering, and let's do this! Come on! The Show me what you got! Yeah! Come on now! Still pretty strong. <sighs> but not strong enough. Say goodbye to your wallet. Please, beat me up if that's what your boss wants. But don't take my money! Well, looky here. He did have the cash. This fucking lowlife had no intention of paying it back. Hey, wait. What are you doing? Aniki! What? Just dunk out of his wallet first, man. Looks more like money to me. All right, great son. Like I said, I only wanted your wallet. Huh? Oh. Okay. Okay, let's go, Mitsu. Hey, Aniki! What's up with you? Why didn't you take the money? Hiratsuka won't screw us. He'll pay it off if we just give him time. How you figure that? You think he's out here working his ass off, doing construction on New Year's Eve just for fun? Didn't you notice what he was smoking? 
It was just a nub, man. He obviously just picked it up off the ground. Why'd he do that if he had so much cash? Because it's New Year's. He probably wanted to buy his mom a nice meal, so he got some cash out of the bank, you know? That doesn't mean it's okay to be late on his payments. Look, you know that old candy shop just past Showa Street? Uh, yeah, it closed last year, right? What about it? Hiratsuka's mom ran that shop. Really? She closed it because she got sick. Real sick. I went to see her in the hospital, and she was thin as a rail. But even so, she was happy, because her son was back in the taking care of her. So, that money Hiratsuka borrowed was... It was all for her hospital bills. <laughs> oh. But, dude, if we go back empty-handed, Captain Sawashiro's gonna kill us! We're not going back empty-handed. We were asked to snatch the dude's wallet. And look, that's exactly what we snatched. You know that's not what the captain meant. Hey, speak of the devil. For real? Hello, this is Ichiban. You're slow. I told you to pick up within two rings. Sorry, Captain. Don't tell me you're still out there doing collections. Just finished up the last one, sir. I'm about to head back to the office. That'd be great. Except right now you should be with the young master. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'll be there as fast as I can. What good is that? He still has to wait for you. Why are you always slow as shit? I'm sorry, sir! Just move your ass. And don't take him anywhere dumb or dangerous. If anything happens to him under your watch, I'd have to kill you a thousand times. Yes, I know that, sir! So you gotta go play chaperone to the young master? Yeah, damn it. I can't believe I forgot. Mitsu, take this back to the office for me. Oh, no! I'm not gonna be the one to hand this in to the captain. You just let me know when the young master lets you off your leash. I'll kill time until then. Young mess. I, I mean, have you seen Masato Arakawa? I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. Oh, damn it. Huh? <laughs> sorry I'm late, young master. Something came up while I was doing questions. Anything else you want to announce? Forget what day it is? Uh, of course not. It's Yumino san's birthday, right? You didn't come without a gift, did you? No, I brought something. It's just I didn't have much, so it's not the greatest. <laughs> Whatever. As long as you didn't tell Dad about this, you did it. Did you? Of course not. If he asked where we went, just tell him we went shopping. Yes, sir. The old fool. He still treats me like a child. He's just worried about you. You mean a lot to him. Don't talk like you know me. <clears throat> Sorry.
soon, Master? I'm fine. We're almost there. Wait, don't go in yet. Duck in here for a sec. Uh, um, okay. Greatest ephedrine injector. I had it imported. Uh, ephedrine? It's a specialized performance enhancer. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. The effect will be immediate, but it won't last more than a few hours. But how? How did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. I can't embarrass her by going in there like this. That sounds crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? No. It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan. That's all. Injected here. Huh? But none of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. <laughs> You're a fucking wuss. Young master? Young master! Masato-san? Oh my goodness! Are you all better? I can't believe it! Hey, where's Yumino-san? Um, we'll call her as soon as we can. Soon as you can? You better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very busy today because it's her birthday. Hey! I just need a minute with him to explain our situation. Don't worry. I'll be nice. Hey. Hi. No. <sighs> Yo.
sorry it's so busy today. Nothing to be sorry about. If you didn't have customers on your birthday, I'd have to assume everyone else here was blind. <laughs> you mm, well uh, how should I put this I'm the young lady's escort for tonight <laughs> each on what are you doing I believe this club is first come first served no need to make things complicated let's just say we came first and leave it at that you understand What the hell is this? I'd ask you the same. You're the one being unreasonable. What? I, I have reasons, so shut up! This is ludicrous. Ludo what? Use some normal ass words! You said you'd be civil. You're causing a scene, you moron. Sorry. Please excuse my companion here. He's usually better behaved. I find that hard to believe. This place doesn't really do the first come, first serve thing. You see, in this industry, they can't treat every customer equally. The guys who spend big get better service. It's supply and demand, that's all. <laughs> that's so. Besides, that's my girl. I see. I knew you'd understand. Since I've disturbed you, would you let me a drink? Pick anything you'd like, and don't worry about the price. No, thank you. I don't need a drink. <laughs> Not the drinking type. Well, then you'll be needing this to try your luck with another one. I couldn't accept that. Please, I insist. Why insult me by refusing? How no, about... thank you. My position requires me to exercise some level of discretion when accepting gifts. Where do you get off acting so high and mighty? You've got guts. I'll give you that. What's your name? I suppose you won't stop bothering me until I show you. Unfortunately, I also have to be discreet about who receives my business card. <laughs> wow. Are you even allowed out this late? At a place like this? <laughs> no law against it. Now, why don't you take the lovely lady back to your seat already? Cheers! Cheers! Happy birthday, Yumino-san! Such fancy drinks, Yumino-san! You spoil us! Thank you! Hey, aren't you thanking the wrong person? He's right. You two should thank the man who bought them. We're very grateful, Masato-san. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I mean, it is the most expensive bottle in the house. Only natural they'd forget themselves a bit. How often do they get drinks like that after all? Young master, I'm sorry about all that earlier. That guy thinks he's too good to accept my generosity? Not like he can afford to as a cop. Does he come here often? No, this was his first time. So, Yumino-san. What did he get you for your birthday? Oh, stop. Just the fact that he's here is enough for me. Really. Aw, you two are so cute. I'm jealous. I want a boyfriend like Masato-san. Eiji, show her yours first. Uh, sure. I, I'm not really. 
used to this kind of thing, though, so... Just do it! Sorry! I know it's not much. What is that? Uh, I had a lot of trouble figuring out what to get you. And you're the young master's woman. I, I mean, his girlfriend. So that's even harder. But this was the most expensive one they had. I promise. <laughs> what? Name Ichiban means the best, but I guess there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> we should start calling him Ichiban. Am I right? <laughs> Masato-san, you're so clever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Here. That's my girl. I knew you'd appreciate its worth. How... how much was it? About the price of a condo. A high-end one. Not just some dump, of course. <laughs> uh, thank you. I don't know how I could ever repay you. <laughs> don't worry about it. I guess my next gift will have to be an actual condominium. For us. Yumino-san, can I have you at the front for a moment? Shh. <laughs> really? Can't you read a room, kid? Ichi, don't start another fight. It's the lady's birthday. Let her go. She's just in high demand. Right. Excuse me. I'll be right back. It's okay. Take your time. He's so nice! Well, back to drinking. You have a captive audience for all your bullshit stories. But I don't want to just talk. Let's do something more intimate. Well, uh, we'd have to ask you, Minol. Oh, she'd kill us for sure! But I'd still enjoy being your girl while I could. I think I had one too many. Some wingman I am. Horino Uchi-san, wait! Please, wait! I'm going home. I don't even want to breathe the same air as that punk. Who the hell is he? Masato-san? He's... well, he's the son of a Yakuza. How do you stand the man? Well, of course, he's not a man. He's a big walking wallet. Stop! This is serious. It's starting to freak me out how much he spends and drinks. Just now, he gave me something super expensive and said next time it'll be a condo. So, you can turn around and sell his trinkets the next day. And if he found out, what do you think he'd do to me? <laughs> Are you talking about violence? <laughs> At the first hint of that, I'll throw the bastard behind bars. Yes, I know you would. And you're right. I should sell it tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't think there were still idiots walking around believing money can buy them love. <laughs> All that matters is you're not one of them. Now get back out there and squeeze him dry. <laughs> okay. See you later.
Young master, how long have you been there? Um, young master? So, did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. Babysitting the young master? Yep. Let's meet up at Cedar Square and walk to the office. Sounds good. いらっしゃいませ。What happened with that porn peddler? Sir, Aniki took care of him today. He won't ever pull that shit again without going through us first. Okay. And how much did you get from him? Uh, about that, uh... I gave the money back to the high schoolers who bought the videos. It was the fair thing to do, and the kids were grateful to our family. I see. And that debt we bought? Oh, yeah. Went off without a hitch. Here's the guy's wallet. Just as you requested, sir. <sighs> He's there. Including interest. Huh? Wow, excellent work. Is that what you thought I would say? <laughs> this bill strap is from the young master's bank. Ichi, what's the real story? <clears throat> there, there is no story. The young master gave that to me, I swear. He gave it to you? Or did you beg him for it to make quota? Begging for scraps won't fix your incompetence. I didn't beg! I have too much pride to pull something like that! You have pride? When you can't earn for the family?! What's that look? Pretending it didn't hurt? 
You don't even know pain. <clears throat> Not for a Yakuza, anyway. A Yakuza takes real responsibility. Uh, hey! The knife. Do it. What's wrong? You don't know how real Yakuza atone? Fine. I'll show you. If you're lucky, it'll slip right between the joints for a clean cut. If you're lucky. Good to see you, boss! Welcome back, boss. Welcome back, sir. Ichi, walk with me. Uh, yes, sir. Boss, you saved my ass back there. At least try to get along with Joe. Oh no, he hates my guts. Just because, well, I'm not much of an earner. Try putting yourself in his shoes. He's doing his duty as a family treasurer. Sure, I know that, but... It's like we just have different visions of what a Yakuza should be, you know? To me, it's more about duty and standing up for people, not money. And it's okay to see things differently. That's the strength of the Arakawa party. S sorry party? <laughs> it's not so different than those games you like, is it? Everyone has a certain skill they bring to the table. Some people are like you, charging in headfirst without a thought. Others cover your ass like Mitsu, and some are better at cracking the whip. That's Joe. All of these people keep the organization running. Yeah, and you're the king of them all. The king? <laughs> to me, all of you are more like sons than subjects. <laughs> Speaking of, you looked after Masato today, right? Yes, sir. Sorry to keep asking you to help me with something so personal. How was he? Fine. That's good to hear. These days, he doesn't even answer my calls. I may be king of the Arakawa family, but to my other family, it's nothing but a title. <laughs> well, Ichiban, why don't we go get our last meal of the 20th century? Yeah, sure. Did you see that? I guess nobody cares about PDA on New Year's. That reminds me. You find yourself a girl yet? No, sir. I'm like a river magnet. Ha. <laughs> Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Easy for you to say. You probably had girls all over you at my age. What? I won't abide such slander. No, oh, I... You use the past tense. Growing silver has only made me a bigger hit with the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of all the women over the years, there was only one. Just one I might have started a family with. Yeah? Yes. Masato's mother. Oh. I've never told you the details, have I? No, sir. I, uh, I do know that she passed away. Yes. Let me start on New Year's Eve 24 years ago. I was just a grunt in the Hikawa family, but the patriarch asked me if I'd marry his daughter. She was the young master's mother? Just listen. I love someone else. Her name was Akane. Uh-oh. What did... I was naive. <laughs> I 
I thought if I ignored my boss's daughter, she'd get annoyed and dump me. The whole time, I was dating Akane in secret on the side. I remember the moment she told me she was pregnant. Oh, man. I knew right then what I needed to do. I had to step up as a man. Problem was, I couldn't find the right moment to tell the boss about Akane and our child. By the time I worked up the courage to tell him, Akane was almost due. So I got down on my hands and knees and told the boss I already had a girl. He didn't let you off easy, I take it. Oh, he had his guys beat the shit out of me. I entered the new year barely able to move. If only it could have been over and done with then. Huh? The boss gave an order to the family. An order to kill Akane. What? Kill her? Yes. I couldn't believe it myself. But he was serious. Even though we were a small family, we were very good at making people disappear. And when we killed, the body was never found. That's what was waiting for Akane and me. For bringing shame to the Patriarch. Uh. To this day, I have no idea how I got out alive. When I learned what was happening, I fled. I don't think they expected that after how badly they beat me. At the same time, Akane was at the hospital having the baby. <gasps> I called her and told her to leave as soon as possible. I knew Yakuza were already on their way to the hospital, so I made a plan. I told her we could meet at this cafe so we could skip town. Cafe Alps? Yes. I waited and waited, but she never came. But just as I was about to lose all hope, I got a call. Akane! Hello? Where are you? I thought they caught you. Our... our baby is here. Huh? Our son. What? Yeah. I got away, but they're not far behind. I... I have to keep moving. Where are you? I'll come get you. Shinjuku Station. By the lockers. Okay, stay there. Try to blend into the crowd. Honestly, they're here. What do I do? Akane, they're looking for a woman with a baby. Hide him in a locker and walk out. Keep a low profile. What for, baby? In a locker? What are you saying? Uh, don't worry. I'll come get him as soon as I can. Once you're in a safe place, call the manager at Cafe Alps. Tell him where you are. Now hurry. Put the baby in a locker. <sighs> okay. Akane. Hey, there she is. That's her. Go, go, go. Hey! Akane! Where's the woman? Damn it! Where'd she go? Hurry up and find her! Sh shit! Yeah. <laughs> 
Hold on! I'll get you out! What's going on? You're so crazy, Timmy. Damn it! Open, you piece of shit! Open! Should we call the police? This is my child. Hey, are you okay? Damn it! Move! I rescued our child and ran to a hospital. The doctor examined Masato and said he had multiple organ failure due to low body temperature. So that's why the young master is in a chair. Yes. It was that cold inside the locker. And apparently, if I had found him five minutes earlier, it could have prevented the complications. Boss, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you got there as soon as you could. I just want to apologize to you. You're burdened with Masato's care because of me. I don't think of it that way, sir. I never saw Akane again after that. She ran to a bar she knew, but the Hikawa family was already there. As I was taking Masato to the hospital, they were taking her away. They killed her. A few days later, the Patriarch and several of his men disappeared. The Hikawa family had ceased to exist. Wait, did you? Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on and on. But there's something I've always... wanted to tell you, even if only by oath, I consider you a son as well. Oh, jeez, sir. That's... Well, enough gloomy talk. Let's eat, hmm? I'm starving. Me too. Well, seeing as I'm the king and all, how about we feast on the king of Chinese food? What could that be? Oh, gyoza! <laughs> no, not gyoza. Peking duck. Duck? Is that even edible? Mm hmm. The duck is dried in the sun, then roasted. And the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. You peel off the perfectly brown skin, wrap it in seasoned dough. Then your mouth is filled with the sweet and spicy fragrance of the sauce. Damn, that does sound good. Yes, which is why in ancient China, only the imperial court ate it. Oh, so it really is the king of Chinese... Yep. But, I wonder if we can find Rochu. There's gotta be a place serving it somewhere.
seriously? Hey! You guys open? We need pancake drop! Relax, Jibam. It's almost the new year. The employees are probably at home, waiting to ring it in with their families. Man, I really wanted to try it, though. <laughs> Another time. I promise. Yeah? Thank you, sir. <laughs> that duck got lucky today. But he won't get away from us next time! <laughs> <laughs> Have a good New Year's, you two! Ichiban, what have I told you? Oh, sorry. Be careful where you laugh outdoors. The only time a Yakuza should laugh with his teeth is when he's with family or when he's in deep shit. I know. Right. Reputation is everything for a Yakuza. Got it, sir. Well, since we missed our shot at the duck, shall we go to our usual Odessa's? <sighs> Sounds good. Now, what's wrong, Ichi? You look like you're about to shit yourself. Fuck off! Don't you stop by to help out at home every now and then? Uh, not for a while, I guess. You should treasure the place where you grew up. It's not like it was the most normal place for a kid to be. No matter how it happened, home is home. One day, you won't be able to go back, you know. Twenty-three years ago, on January 1st, I came into this world screaming inside this sleazy soap land. My mom worked at soap lands, she even popped me out in one. Then she disappeared. I didn't know that till I was older, when Dad told me. I say dad, but we weren't related by blood. He was the owner of the soapland that took me in. Don't know who my other dad is. Probably some guy who dropped in for a wham bam thank you, ma'am. Hey, can someone keep an eye on Ichiban? Oh, come here, Ichi. Hey, it's my turn to hold him. I was raised by this city's working-class folks. According to society, all those people who raised me are scum. Well, I suppose that would make me scum. Well, what? N never! You're... Everything I want to be! You're like a god! <laughs> so, first I'm a king, and now I'm a god? When I met you, I had just graduated middle school. After my foster dad died, I dropped out of school and just started drifting. Just picking fights, shaking people down for easy money. But karma always catches up to a dumbass punk. Eventually, I beat up the wrong guy, a Yakuza. So yeah, his crew locked me in a Yakuza office and beat the shit out of me. I thought I was a goner, but I made one last ditch effort to live and yelled out a name. Arakawa. What? 
the Arakawa family. If you me, they'll one of you down. In those days, the name Arakawa the Assassin was like a whispered threat. I didn't give a shit about Yakuza or who they were at the time, but I knew that name. And I thought if I name dropped them, maybe they'd freak out and let me live. You're saying you're Arakawa? <laughs> a kid like you? But my plan backfired. Big time. Turned out, these guys were in a huge turf dispute with the Arakawa family. One of your little brats damn near beat my boy to death. Says his name's Ichiban Kasuga. Oh, he ain't getting away. Not in the sorry state we put him in. You want him back, you better send Patriarch Arakawa personally. I knew the jig was up. I'd never even met Arakawa, so obviously he wasn't gonna come. Maybe we ought to just kill him, Anaki. Arakawa ain't gonna show his face to pick up his trash. Looks like you're shit out of luck, you little brat. Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility! I see. Well... How about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. <sighs> All right then. Let's go, you little shit. Uh, I... What? You... you saved my life. Why? How can I think... <laughs> Save your blubbering gratitude. That finger wasn't for you. I'm a Yakuza. For us, reputation is everything. My face, my name, they mean something. What do you think it would have meant? If I'd begged them to betray you, the whole Arakawa family would have paid for it. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. I did the only thing that would preserve my family's cred. Not the only thing. You could have just said you didn't know me. Why not do that? Why not, indeed? Maybe I wanted to make an impression on a kid who knew my name. <laughs> and at that moment, I saw my life's path ahead of me. It was following this man. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Back the fuck up! How many times I gotta say this? We got no cups for punks like you. Never mind the kid, Joe. I didn't care how often they ignored me or what they said. I stood outside that office every day. In the pouring rain. Under the scorching sun. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Who's he? You know him? Go on ahead, Masato. Kid, the Yakuza isn't something to aspire to. Haven't your parents explained that to you? I don't have parents, sir! I had a foster dad, but he's dead now!
Come on. Sir! It'd been 100 days since I'd met Arakawa-san. Man, that Odin is always so freaking good. Thanks for treating me, boss. Sure thing. Hey, it's almost time for the countdown. You came here alone on New Year's Eve. That means you're looking for one thing. Leave me alone! Quit acting like you're too good for us. Let's have some fun. Sometimes it's the scum of society that has to do the cleaning up. Hey! A new century is about to start, and I know you don't want to spend the first week lying in a hospital bed. Get out of here before an old man has to crack some skulls. The hell you say? Keep out of this. Who the fuck are you? Tojo clan, Arakawa family. Now get your drunk asses away from the lady here. Time to go home and listen to the New Year's bells like good boys. Hold on, are you guys Yakuza? <laughs> They've gotta be. Look. He's got the hair and everything. Yeah, plus they're wearing costumes straight out of a mafia movie. You fuckers better not be making fun of us! Hey boss, leave this to me! It's been a few years since I saw you fight. Hopefully you're stronger now. Oh, just wait till you see what I can do. Okay, miss? <laughs> Get away from me! Hey, come on! At least thank the boss! It's fine. Just forget it, Ichi. Remember, we're Yakuza. Yeah, I get it. Now then, I'll see you later, Ichi. You better show up at the office next year. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world. Good night, boss. <laughs> you too. Man, he's such a badass. Now, I wouldn't mind another drink. Sir, you have to wake up. Wake up, now. <clears throat> oh shit, fell asleep. It's dangerous to fall asleep outdoors, you know. Can I see identification? Uh, identification? Yes, like your license. A violent crime was committed out here recently. Shit. 
shit. My wallet's gone. Ah, uh, you see why you shouldn't sleep out here? You need to file a stolen item report now? I'm busy, so you'll have to go down to the station. Boss, first of all, Happy New Year! Sorry to call you first thing in the morning, Ichi. No problem. I'm up and ready to seize the day. Can you come by the office? Sure thing. You want to go out for the first shrine visit of the year? No. Just come to the office. Try to be inconspicuous. Uh, okay. You got it. Hold up! What family you from? Arakawa. Oh yeah, asshole! How about you don't forget- Oh yeah? And who the fuck are the Sakaki family, dumbass?! Show me what you got! Cool! Come on now! Probably nothing. We've always got- Oh shit, that took a while. Gotta head into the office. It's me, Ichiban. Boss? Good morning! Oh, Ichi. Have a seat. Sir! Stop. Just sit down. Uh, sure. You know the Sakagi family, right? You mean the family we've been fighting with? Hmm. We're fighting them because of a rumor that they're connected to the Omi. But aren't the Omi out in Kansai? Yes. They control the entire region. They're much bigger than most people realize. The Tojo clan has butted heads with them for years. Bitter rivalry. And what? The Sakaki family's cooperating with them? No. The Sakaki family isn't stupid enough to commit outright treason. But they have been selling intel to the Omi for some quick, easy cash. <sighs> I confronted them about it at an officer's meeting. But their patriarch pretended not to know anything. Bastard traitor. Long story short, they don't like us much right now. But at the same time, they still report directly to our main family. So we need to be careful. We don't want to cause the main family any trouble. That said, 
Did something happen? Hours ago, I got a call from Joe. He... He shot a Sakaki Yakuza. Really? Apparently, he just happened to to one of them. They were both alone. No other men. It was one on one. They talked shit to each other for a bit. Then... Pulled his gun. Luckily, no one saw them. But the police have already found the other guy's body. It's only a matter of time before they raid our office. <sighs> if word gets out that our captain killed someone from a family above ours, it will be considered mutiny. Be expelled from the Tojo clan, and our tiny family will go up in smoke. You see why I let Joe get arrested for this. Ichi, would you be willing to take his place? Are you serious, boss? I mean... I've been waiting for a shot like this. This is my chance to finally repay my debt to you. After everything you've done for me. Let him lock me up for 10 or even 20 years. I'd be happy to do it for you. Ichi. Hey, me too. Thanks. Good job surviving another year. <laughs> we made it to a new century. Oh, yeah. Guess so. Damn, you sound pretty bored for a birthday, boy. What's up with you? Are hey, you going to your first shrine visit of the year? How about we do Kamaro again? You do it, and have a good time. I'm not going. Huh? Something came up. Captain Sawashiro spring something on you? Yeah, basically. Man, the New Year's barely begun and he's already working you like a dog. No holidays for the Yakuza. We work 365 days a year. So you're gonna be busy all day? Me too. How old are you right now? Uh, 20, if you really wanna know. Why? So in 10 years you'll be 30. In 20, you'll be 40. Great math, dude. What are you getting at? Just... eat well and live life to the fullest, man. Um... you feeling okay? <laughs> I'll call you later. Alright. Might be 
eating my last meal as a free man for a while. <sighs> Screw it. Yo, hit me with one more! Huh? <laughs> sure. Coming right up. Another beef bowl! It pains me to say this, Ichi, but you've been banished from family effective last month. What? I'm banished? If only he'd been from a family outside the clan, I could have merely expelled you. But this man, not only was he Tojo, he reported directly to the main family. But being banished, doesn't that mean I can never come back? Don't worry. I'll be working on that personally. I'll have the whole thing reversed by the time you get out of prison. Thank you, boss. And perhaps banishment will work in our favor. The court will go easier on you now that you're just a civilian. Let them do their worst. I can handle a few years in the can. Savor every last moment, don't you? <laughs> While eating a beef bowl? For sure. <laughs> Enough stalling. Come back soon. Ever find your wallet? Well, if not, you might as well file a theft report inside. We find the defendant, Ichiban Kasuga, guilty of murder. He is hereby sentenced to 15 years in prison.